pivot table allows you to quickly group and filter the data, to visualize the data in Excel table, to quickly find answers to the business questions. To create pivot table from Excel table, you need to select any cell in Excel table, click on the table design options, and then click summarize with pivot table. Excel offers you to create pivot table based on the table name. So you want to make sure that this is the right table that you're creating pivot table from. And you want to choose if you want to do it in existing worksheet or in a new worksheet. In our case, we will do it in the new worksheet. So Excel created new worksheet named sheet three. And this is the pivot table, which doesn't have anything selected. But on the right hand side, we do have all the columns from the Excel table. The easiest way to start working with pivot tables is to select all the fields that you're trying to include in your data visualization. In my case, I'm going to select all the fields. I'm also going to expand column A to see the entire description. I will also expand column B's and C to make sure all the data fits. As you can see, presented data doesn't make any sense because the grouping is not correct. Excel groups the data by operating expenses instead of grouping it by category. And in original Excel table, category is the grouping for operating expenses. To fix that, we would need to change the sequence of the items in the row section of the pivot table. I'm going to drag, select and drag category and put it on top of operating expenses. And now data makes total sense. We have fees and then all the items, all the operating expenses are grouped by the categories. So fee is one of the categories, dues and subscription, insurance fees and legal and auditing fees are items within the fees category. Once you're done building the pivot table, you can make data more presentable by selecting the values and formatting them with the currency sign. For example, in my case, I'll add a dollar sign selection and you will see that for every numeric value, it converted it into currency value, which is started with the dollar sign. If you found this content valuable, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and share with your friends to help them learn faster. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.